Hey everyone, this is Freedal Hacker AJ Raven. I'm here with my recap and review of Digimon Ghost Game Anime Season Number One, Episode Number Twelve, which is titled Chain Letter. And I really enjoyed this episode. It has some cool mo moments. It had some co oh, cool character centering moments. Uh, a bit of a horror vibe, which I enjoyed. But yeah, before I get to recapping episode number 12, I have to say that, yeah, I wasn't able to recap episode number 11, which focused more on Ruli and Angoramon. Now, I really thought that uh, in the previous episode, Angoramon was going to unlock his DG evolution, but that didn't happen. However, I do have to say that I liked how that particular episode ended up exploring Angoramon's friendship with Ruli and how these two needed to talk more because Angoramon knew about this uh, secret place where Digimon got together in order to support each other and he wasn't necessarily being truthful to Ruli and yeah Ruli was trying to force him to be truthful but yeah sometimes the other person you have to allow the other person to come to you so that you can really talk and have a conversation so I like that theme. Uh, in particular, especially uh, uh, concerning how they ended up uh, realizing that they needed to work on their own relationship after helping that uh, Digimon called uh, Rappa, uh, Rappamon or something. But yeah, coming, uh, I liked it. Even though Angoramon didn't get didn't get an DG evolution, I still was okay with that episode. A bit disappointed, but okay. So episode number twelve, it opens up with this random dude on the bench, and he receives it, receives uh, receives this uh, message, which which says that you need to forward this message message to twenty other people, uh, in three days, uh, or you will be cursed. And he's like, uh oh, this is very old fashioned. This is basically a chain letter, which I used to do when I was young, but I can't. But I can't forward or uh, spread uh, misinformation right now, so he ends up deleting the message, and of course. It's basically a virus and the virus ends up uh, infecting his digital uh, pad or whatever tablet or whatever he's uh, holding. However, because uh, because Digimon are involved, the little Digimon actually comes out of the tab and attacks the man. And I was like, okay, okay, so humans are actually getting attacked in this episode again. <laughs> But this time the attacks are happening in front of everyone. Like they are more public than some of the previous attacks that we've seen. So Kyoshiro ends up receiving the message as well. And Kyoshiro is like, uh-uh, this is a chain letter. Very old fashioned. So he ends up deleting and deleting it. And of course, little Digimon come out as well. And they attack him. And yeah, he's like, Jellymon sama, save me. But turns out that Jellymon is actually very afraid of this particular little Digimon. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. Why is Jellymon afraid? We do get an explanation. It kind of made sense. But I was like, okay, so Jellymon is afraid of a certain Digimon too. So Jellymon decides to uh, go to Hero for help and Kyosho runs after her and she hides in uh, Hero's bed. And she's like, uh, and Hero's like, okay, okay, what's up, what's up? And Kyoshiro's like, little Digimon, they attacked us, they're everywhere, Hero. And, asked, uh, and while they're talking, Hero gets a message from Kyoshiro. He's like, Kyoshiro, did you send me an email? And Kyoshiro's like, why would I send you an email when I'm standing right there? So yeah, the email is basically, again, the same chain letter that Kyoshiro received. And Hero's like, uh, should I delete it or something? But Gamamon ends up sensing some bad advice from it. And he, <laughs> Gamamon, <laughs> yeah, he drops Hero's phone on the ground and he stomps it. And I'm like, oh, Gamamon, why would you do that? And I was like, I understood why he did that. But still, it's a mobile phone and you can really see, uh, yeah, the shock on Hero's face. So as they're trying to figure out what's happening, we cut to Ruli. And yeah, Ruli is at this aqua uh, cafe with her friends, which again... If you have been following my recaps and reviews, you know that I am really enjoying Ruli having a life and having other friends and not necessarily trying uh, trying to find ways to hang out with Hiro and Keoshiro. Oh, also in the previous episode, we saw Ruli pick up uh, a new hobby, which was basically photography. She's very bad at photography, it turns out. <laughs> But yeah, before that, we saw her going into racing. So yeah, I guess Ruli is trying to find an interest that she's really passionate about, uh, other than pia uh, piano playing, I guess. So Ruli gets a message as well, and Ruli's like, uh -uh, I'm not forwarding this, so she deletes it. However, the same message is, is received from her account, uh, is sent from her account to her two friends, and they're like, Ruli, did you send us uh, us to a message as well? And Ruli's like, no, I did it. So they delete the message as well, but yeah, the little Digimon come out, and it turns out that the virus has actually spread across uh, the entire city, and it, it's going to keep on spreading, and the little Digimon, which is basically Zozomons, they are attacking humans, they're drinking uh, moisture, because the more moisture 
uh, they end up uh, drinking the more larger they get and also when it comes to Ruli I really like the fact that she didn't abandon her friends and she kept her near her uh, near herself so that she could protect uh, protect those two which yeah good to see good to see so yeah as I said the Zozomons end up uh, drinking moisture and the more moisture they get the larger they become and they end up uh, biting humans as well because they want to uh, suck the moisture out of the human body and I'm like okay that's creepy that's dangerous and that's creepy and the fact that Zozomons Zozomon ends up eating and eating and expanding, basically not eating, drinking, yeah, drinking and drinking and, uh, and uh, expanding. It gave me the blob vibes, which I was here for. So it turns out that uh, the humans aren't necessarily defeated yet. And I really like the fact that a whole lot of people ended up fighting against the Zozomon because I think that uh, the, they, are, they aren't really that big. So the humans were like, you know what? We're going to fight back, and I like that. I like that. And maybe as this anime continues, we'll see more human characters fighting Digimon. Who knows? So we get an explanation about why Jellymon is afraid of Zozomon because, again, because Zozomon's uh, Zozomon's want to drink water. Jellymon is basically a giant droplet uh, for them. So it make it made sense for Jellymon to be afraid of them. And yeah, heroes like they aren't really big, so we can take them. And Jellymon is like, uh-uh. In the digital world, I have seen them. Uh, grow gigantic so we need to be very careful so over at the aqua cafe ruli and her friends and other people are able to scare the little zozomons zozomons away uh, angoramon who ended up sensing that ruli is in trouble he ends up uh, arriving at, uh, at the aqua cafe as well and yeah ruli is like you know what uh, what the heck is happening? Uh, Angoramon and Angoramon is like, I don't know. I'm not really sure why the Zosomons are uh, Zosomons are attack uh, are uh, behaving this way. And Rudy is like, maybe Bokumon would uh, would know. So let's go over there. So over at the dorm room, we see that the students uh, ended up fighting the Zosomons as well. And yeah, they ended up blaming Kyoshiro because they're like, it's our it's our uh, head rep who ended up, our dorm leader leader who ended up sending the, uh, these messages. It's his fault. It's a very weird prank. So we need to get, uh, we need to find him and we need to make him pay. And of course, Kyoshiro is devastated that his reputation has been ruined. And he was like, you know what, well, we can't just continue sitting uh, in the dorm room. We have to go. So every Everyone comes to meet uh, Pokemon at the nearby library. And again, I like the fact that Ruli ended up taking her two friends with her and told her told them to wait uh, in the library because again, she wants to protect her friends as well. And they are safe in the library as of now because Pokemon ended up disconnecting the internet connection. And Pokemon is trying to figure out uh, what happened. And he's like, you know what? Uh, there have been reports for about a month uh, about this chain, uh, chain message and how if you delete it, your device gets infected and then Zozo Zosomons come out so he ends up showing the message to Hero and everyone and they're like yep that's the same message we got we deleted it and our devices got infected and this is where Kyoshiro is like wait so because uh, even if we delete it and it, the devices get infected the message is still sent to other people on your contact list and this is where Kyoshiro end, ends up using his mathematical genius and he's like okay uh, if one person ends up sending it to like 10 or 20 people then those people end up sending to more 10 or 20 people in a few moments the, the entire country is going to be covered by Zosomons and not even that the entire world is going to be covered covered by Zosomons and they're going to infect everyone and they're going to attack everyone and the world is going to end. So of course the stakes are very very high and the, and the kids are like what the heck are we supposed to do now? And uh, Pokemon, uh, they're like Pokemon any ideas? And Pokemon is like no, uh, because the Zosomons are using human technology I can't predict their next move so I'm sorry. And this is where even Ruli is like you know what I don't want the world to end and Gamamon is very disappointed as well because Gamamon is like if the world ends where the heck am I, am I going to eat? Uh, get chocolates from so yeah everyone is uh, worried and the stakes are high and this is where Kyoshiro is like you know what I guess we have to take them to the realm which is between the digital world and and the human world we have to take them there and I'm like Kyoshiro really you couldn't have thought of this earlier <laughs> 
I still don't know why why our heroes, our young protagonists, didn't didn't activate that realm sooner. But yeah, it turns out that in this uh, realm, there's only one body of water, and Kyoshiro's like, you know what? We're going uh, because of their nature. The Zosumons are going to come over here to this body of water, and because there are a virus, we're going to fight with the vaccine. And I'm ready because I want. And yeah, Ruli and Hero are actually quite impressed. They're like, oh, what got uh, what's gotten into Kyoshiro? Why is he acting so confident? But it turns out that he's only confident because it's not because he wants to save the world per se. It's because <laughs> he wants to mend his reputation. And Hero is like, really? Really? So yeah, the Zosomon who have uh, grown quite a lot in size now, they end up coming to that single body of water and I, uh, uh, oh, uh, in this uh, weird realm. And I'm like, you know what? If you think about it, it was very convenient that this entire world has, has only one body of water to make this episode work. But yeah, Kyoshiro is like, I didn't, plan to, uh, I didn't plan ahead, so what the heck are we going to do now? And Ruli and Hiro are like, well, we are going to fight. So they end up fighting, Gamamon fights, uh, Angoramon fights, and uh, yeah, they're trying their best to fight the Zosomons, but they are way too many for them to handle. And this is where Kyoshiro is like, you know what, Jellymon? It's our turn, and Jellymon is like, uh, Jellymon is like yep, let's do it. Uh, let's punish these uh, Zosomons and I'm going to show them who's the strongest. So uh, Jellymon ends up digivolving into Tesla Jellymon and this is where we get to see Jellymon's new attack which is called Punishina or something to that effect? Punishina or something? So it's basically Jellymon um, using her electrical powers to dis disper uh, yeah she ends up attacking the Zosomons with a huge electrical blast and it does take out a whole lot of uh, Zosomons and uh, I like the effect of the attack which basically felt like an electrical dome which then exploded so yeah it took out a whole lot of Zosomons and now and because the Zosomons got injured they ended up joining together in order to support each other and of course they got even more gigantic and they're like and yeah, the heroes are like, what the heck are we supposed to do now? And they're like, you know what, we still have to continue fighting. And this is where, and yeah, Hero is trying to figure out uh, which uh, Digi Evolution for, uh, for Gamamon he should go for. He's like, should I go for Battel Gamamon? Should I go for the flying one? What should I do? And this is where one of the Zosomons tries to attack Hero, and Gamamon comes in, and he's like, uh, and in order to protect Hero, and Gamamon is like, even if I'm not as powerful as Tesla Jellymon right now, I'm never going to give up. I'm going to fight for this world. World. I'm going to fight for the chocolates. I'm ready. I'm going to continue fighting. And this gives Hero the strength that he needs to unlock a new Digi Evolution for Gamamon. And this is where we get to see Vizen Gamamon, which is basically a Triceratops who has cannons. Uh, instead of uh, the two horns over here. And you can see that the scarf that Gamamon wears, it's basically around uh, Vizen Gamamon's uh, tail, which is a nice touch. Uh, and yeah, Vizen Gamamon is basically, I guess, a tank. It's quite strong. It's basically a tank who can also shoot cannons, cannon blasts, which is quite cool. So Vizen Gamamon ends up, uh, ends up attacking the Zosumons uh, with a new attack. Which, if I remember correctly, is Sedna or something. Sedna? Yeah, I guess it's Sedna, which is basically Gamamon, uh, within Gamamon, uh, uh, continuously uh, firing these cannonballs at. Uh, at uh, the Zosomons, and yeah, he is a very powerful Digimon. That's a very powerful Digimon. And because the Zosomon end up getting injured, they join together. And yeah, this was Sedna, like continuous blasts from the cannon horns. I like that. So they end up growing even larger, and Hero's like, what now? And Vizen Gamamon is like, Hero, I need to charge for a big blast. And Hero's like, let's do this, Vizen Gamamon. So Vizen Gamamon ends up uh, inserting its tail into the ground. I guess it's, it's it, it, I'm not really sure if it's uh, uh, trying to support itself uh, for the blast, or if it's taking the charge out of the earth in order to power up the blast. I'm not really sure, but the cannon is charging, 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 and I was ready. I was ready for a very, very spectacular visual of the cannon firing, just to just to see how powerful the Zen Gamamon is if if it fires a cannon at full charge. But before that happens, a very old Zosumon comes in and he's like, "Stop! Stop! Stop!" And the Zen Gamamon is able to stop. I'm like, "Okay." 
So within Gabamon, even if it's able to charge its cannon, it's still able to hold back and prevent itself from firing, which, you know what? Convenient. It's it's a good it's a good skill to have. So yeah, the old uh, Zosumon is like uh, it's my fault that these Zosumon en ended up attacking the human world because when I came into the human world, I was all alone. So I created a clone of myself, but then, then but then that clone ran away, and this is how why the infection uh, occurred. So it won't happen again. I'll take these Zosumon away. I won't bother you again. And Hero is like, well, you better not. And Zosumon is like, yeah, I'm sure. I, I would never bother you guys again. And as Zosumon is walking away, this is where Zosumon gives uh, our heroes a very, very evil look. I'm like, really? Really? Hero and the rest of the group are just going to let Zosumon go? Now, now I know that these kids haven't necessarily experienced uh, an actual fight with Digimon, a fight to the death, right? If I remember correctly, I don't think that these kids have actually killed a Digimon, right? It's all, it's, it's all, yeah, a whole lot of Digimon that have, that, uh, that they have encountered have been dealt with with talk no jutsu or something else and i'm and i but however i was looking forward to seeing uh within gamamon eradicating all of the zosumon but that didn't happen because this old zosumon ended up taking everyone away and i'm like you know what he's going to come back and he's going to do something he is going to do something because hero and the rest of the group need to realize that they just can't let dangerous digimon walk away they just can't do that so yeah it's all uh, yeah the episode ends and they ended up dealing with the Zosumon uh, problem. Uh, the chain mail, ha the chain letter has uh, has been deleted. It won't be infecting uh, phones anymore. Ruli's phone is back working to normal. And this is as they're walking. Hero is like, okay, Gamamon, uh, that was your third uh, Digi evolution. And yeah, I guess the, uh, all all of his three Digi evolutions were champion level Digi evolutions. And however, there's also this other Digi evolution which we have all all which we have only seen shadows of. So what's going on with Gamamon? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. It was enjoyable. It was good. It had some cool mo moments. Even though I was expecting more from the finale, I was actually expecting the Zen Gamamon to kill or eradicate the Digimon. But that didn't happen because Zosumon ended up walking away. And I'm like, uh, okay, okay, I guess we'll see him. We'll see him soon. As far as Gamamon is concerned, I think that he is uh, the only Digimon of its kind. If I, yeah, if my theory is correct, or also the fact that Bokemon was very in, uh, interested in uh, Gamamon, I think that the Digimon like Gamamon has never ever existed before, or maybe if it did exist, it might have existed in lore or in stories. But yeah, Gamamon, I guess, is, uh, is one of a kind, and that's why it has these uh, three Digi evolutions, which is basically red, blue, and uh, within Gamamon is supposed to be green, right? Uh, maybe. But yeah, let me know what you thought, uh, uh, thought of the episode. And again, we don't necessarily know what the main plot is. I'm still waiting. We're 12 episodes in. I'm still waiting for Angoramon to unlock his Digi Evolution. But yeah, but let's see what happens. In the next episode, according to the preview, we are bas we are probably going to get this, like, it's, it feels like we're going to get this Digimon who is attacking other Digimon, kind of like a horror team involving Jack the Ripper, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.